Hey guys, how's it going? This is Tim Shaves, and today is gonna be a unboxing mail call day. Just as I finished my shave today with the carved open comb deep plate and the Ovalala soap, look what arrived. A mail call. Um, half of me wanted to shave with the new stuff, but the other half, uh, I didn't really know when it's gonna come in. And of course it would come in right after the shave is over. <laughs> so I'll be reserving the shave for um, maybe a couple days, uh, but let's go through the unboxing really quick. This is gonna be a new razor for me. Uh, I have my, this Remington cheap knife, um, pocket knife available. And I, if I need help cutting through this, but let's see how it goes. All right, so the box here, here we go. Okay. Um, hmm, I don't know what this is, but this is from Above the Tide, Groovinia Moore. Um, this is one brand that I want, really wanted to try out. Uh, one reason, because uh, IMCDB uh, really uh, praises their um, quality and just how good their razors are. And I guess I was kind of sort of influenced by it. I know a lot of other people uh, enjoy their brand as well. So just really wanted to try it out. And recently they had a, a pretty deep discount on their returns, like scratch and dent product. So took advantage of it and I don't mind um, shaving with like secondhand razors. So got that at a discount, but let's, uh, let's see which one this is. Okay. so. Got it, got it. So this is one of the razors that I got. I thought it was a brush for some reason, but, oh, dropped. Ooh. Dropped the <laughs> razor blade, Astra SP, thank you. And this is, this is the Above the Tie Windsor Pro. Wow, this is, Sold as scratch and dent, and I'm not seeing a single speck of what would be scratch and dent here. Um, okay, I, I see now. There's a little scratch in the top cap, but it's, oh, I, I, oh, you might be able to see it right there. Yep, yeah, right there. Single scratch over there, but you could barely see it. Um, yeah, this angle, this light, can't really see it, but bottom plate base plate above the tie this is the sp90 plate um, feels pretty solid and just check in between the plates this looks pretty solid here um, it's fairly light but still feels solid to me so yeah i'm excited to give this a try um, this has a 0.9 blade gap which is a little bit more than the Razor Rock uh, Game Changer 0.84. So I'm gonna be excited to try it out. It has a flat head profile. So let's see how it goes. I like the flat head profile. All right, next up, I think this might be one of the base plates that I ordered, but just a blank black box. Yep, this is two base plates that I got from the return section. Mm. They might not package it as if if I got a new, uh, newly conditioned base plate, but I don't mind. All right, so going through some tape here. All right, and first one that I got is this blue base plate. This is the aluminum or aluminium, whatever you might call it. This is the H1 aluminum base plate. And this is sold as a return. I don't see, I see very light scratches in the bottom. You can't even see it, but it almost looks perfect to me. So I'm glad I'm able to get a good conditioned uh, return plate. This H1 plate um, has 0.91 blade gap, so very similar to the SB90, but just a tad different. And maybe the head geometry, I think, is a little different too. But for the next one up, 
This is similar base plate to the previous one, but uh, this is an open comb H2 uh, plate, and it has uh, engravings there about the Thai H2 made in USA, and this looks pretty perfect too. I don't see any blemishes. This was sold as a return, but it looks perfect to me, so I'm glad. Got another one in good condition. And the good thing is that I could um, interchange the plates between the, uh, the Windsor Pro line and the regular line. So this is the Windsor Pro base cap. And when I put it across the regular base, it fits perfectly. Uh, it is a little protruding on the outside, but it still fits. I think this will, um, what is it, protect or enclose the blade blade taps. So this will be a nice, um, what should I call it? It'll be nice to be able to interchange between the plates instead of having to buy the stainless steel uh, top cap. I could just go in between those. All right, and then the last one. Also, I got a, whoop, some peanut packagings and I got the invoice here. And I actually got the, the box here for presentation. So even with their scratch and dents or returns, I still got their uh, packaging above the tie. I really wanted this. It just looks nice and it looks like high quality. And I think Sterling, uh, when they shipped out their stainless steel razors, it was similar to this and I really liked it. But there we go. I love the tie box. It looks great. Uh, let's open this bad boy up. All right. It's got a black paper here. And let's open that up. Oh, also this one, it has the little accessories. Nice. So the black envelope contains the plastic black washers and believe yeah, the polishing cloth and their business card. Very nice touch as a CDB described in his videos. And this one is the Windsor Pro with the stainless steel version. Got their Astra SP, the Blake Tuck. And I got this as a scratch and dent. So let's see how the condition of this is. Okay, it's fairly tightly um, packed in there. Nice, tight. All right. Okay, the base plate looks perfect. <laughs> I don't see anything, uh, not the base plate, the top cap looks perfect. Handle looks perfect to me. Um, the knurling is okay. I've heard that this one's a little slippery. I will say it's good enough. Not the best knurling out there, but I think it'll do the job. The base plate looks pretty good too. I see slight, uh, not even a scratch. I don't know what that is, but threading is normal. It's not as smooth as carbs, but I really haven't found anything as smooth as carb yet. <laughs> All right, so here is the plates or the parts taken off. I believe the the under uh, the underside surfaces are not polished but it's fine as you can see backside is polished this one isn't same with the top cap but um i see little smudges here and there on the base plate but nothing major very minor um, so even though i got a scratch and dent this looks pretty much perfect to me so I'm really uh, glad the condition of these uh, parts. There's a slight moving uh, in between these, but I, think, I don't think that will be any problem. Yeah, just a slight smudge here and there, but that is it for today. So in conclusion, what did I get? I got two Windsor Pro razors, a stainless steel still version, and then the aluminum black razors 
I really wanted to compare the two and see if there's any difference between the aluminum version and the stainless steel version. Um, see if the weight and the uh, affects the stability of the shade. Also, I got two different plates, the aluminum H1 plate and then the stainless steel H2 plate. So I'm excited to use up all of the, these. This is basically three or four different razors that I got for like the price of maybe like one and a half razors. So I'm really glad I got to try these and um, well, not, not try it. I'm glad I got, got these. I'm excited to try them out. So that was the above the tie mail call for today. Um, you'll be seeing these razors in the future, very near future. So thank you guys for watching. This is Tim Shade and I'll see you guys next time. See you.